Did you know that you can find the, both the GCF and the LCM using just prime factorization? Well, you can, and let me show you how. Your first step is to find the prime factorization of two different numbers. So I have the number 16 here and the number 24. So I'm going to start with 16, and I'm going to say, okay, 16 is divisible by 2. 2 times 8, 2 is a prime number. And then 8, 8 is also an even number, so it's divisible by 2. 2 times 4. 4 is going to be 2 times 2. So my prime factorization of 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the power of 4. For 24, I'm going to say, I'm going to divide, divide it by 2 since it's an even number, so 2 times 12. I'm going to break down 12 into saying 2 times 6. I'll break down 6 into 2 times 3. So now my prime factorization for 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 or 2 to the power of 3 times 3. Let's now look at how we find the GCF of two numbers using prime factorization. Let's look at 16 first so we can think about what this factorization means. If we think about 16, we know that 2 is a factor of 16. We also know that 2 times 2 is 4. 4 is also a factor of 16. We know that 2 times 2 times 2, or 4 times 2, is 8. 8 is also a factor of 16. And if we have 8 times 2, that equals 16, and 16 is also a factor of 16. So these prime factorizations help us to see the factors. So when we want to find the, the greatest common factor of the two numbers, we want to find what is in common between 16 and 24. Looking at these two numbers, I see that 2 times 2 times 2 is what is in common between both 16 and 24. Therefore, the GCF of this, of 16 and 24, is 2 times 2 times 2, which is equal to 8. 8 is the GCF of 16 and 24. If we're thinking about common factors of 16 and 24, we see that there's a 2 in both of them, so 2 is a common factor. There is 2 times 2 in both of them, so 4 is a common factor of both of them. And then there is a 2 times 2 times 2, which is what we just found as the GCF, so 8 is also a common factor. Let's now talk about how to find the LCM of two numbers using prime factorization. We're going to use 16 and 24 again, and I have their prime factorizations written here. In the last slide, we looked at how 2 times 2 times 2 helped to give us the GCF. We're going to use that again to help us find the LCM. However, we're not going to stop there. We now need to look at what's left over between these two numbers. I notice that there's a 2 left over and there's a 3 left over. Let's add those to the string of numbers below. So let's add that 2 and then let's add that 3. So now we have 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 and then times 3 we come up with an answer of 48. 48 is the LCM of 16 and 24.